Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to make this delicious, sweet, creamy strawberry ice cream. This strawberry ice cream is the bomb. I absolutely love it. I make it in a way so there aren't any strawberry chunks in it. I, I don't like the strawberry chunks in strawberry ice cream. I can't handle it. I don't like it at all. And so I made this strawberry ice cream the way I wanted. And it came out awesome. And then I decorated it so it looked all fancy and cute and I was really proud of it and I took a bunch of pictures. Anyway, the ice cream was really good and I'll definitely be making this again. To make the ice cream, I will be using the Cuisinart Ice 70 electric ice cream maker with countdown timer. And let me tell you this, this has become my third favorite thing in the house. Next to the air fryer and the dishwasher, this is the third favorite. It's so shiny, clean, and modern looking. I just love the way it looks. Oh, oh, and it doesn't just make ice cream. It also makes gelato and sorbet. Now I'm gonna go over the attachments a little. This is the freezer bowl. It helps freeze the ice cream evenly and fast. The freezer bowl contains cooling liquid. You'll know the freezer bowl is ready to use when you cannot hear the liquid inside. If you shake it and you don't hear anything, that means it's completely frozen. Remember, freeze it for 12 to 24 hours. I suggest 24 hours. This is the mixing arm. The mixing arm mixes the ice cream. It also helps mix any additional ingredients that you want to add in the last 10 to 5 minutes. This is just the top to the ice cream maker. And this is the base for the ice cream maker. This is how you assemble the ice cream maker. First, add the freezer bowl. Then, add the mixing arm. Then, add the top. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. This is the instruction manual and recipe booklet. It's filled with all the do's and don'ts, how to use it, and recipes that you can use with the ice cream maker. In this video, I'll be using their recipe for fresh strawberry ice cream, except I tweaked it a bit, so it's to my liking. Spoilers, in another video I'm making, I'll be using their recipe for rich vanilla ice cream, which was dad's favorite. Now that we have gone over everything, let's get started with the video. In a large pot, pour in 4 cups of frozen strawberries and 4 cups of water. Bring the water to a boil. Reduce the boil to a simmer and then let the strawberries cook for about 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, turn off the heat and skim the foam from the top. The strawberries will have lost most of their color and the water should be a deep red. Now using a strainer, scoop all the strawberries out of the pot. Now add 2 cups of sugar to the liquid. Bring it to a boil and then reduce the boil to a simmer. Let it simmer for about 5 minutes until the sugar is completely dissolved. Then skim any additional foam that rose to the top. Let the syrup cool completely. Then pour the syrup into a container and place in the fridge. In a large bowl, add 3 fourths cup of half and half, 2 thirds cup of sugar, and a pinch of salt. Use a hand mixer to mix it all together until the sugar is completely dissolved.
Now add one and one half teaspoon of vanilla bean paste. Whisk until well combined. Now stir in one and one half cup of heavy cream. Then stir in one and one half cup of our strawberry syrup. I am telling you this right now, it tasted so good. And if you don't believe me, check out my reaction. Holy crap. God, that is delicious. What the heck? Okay, now pour your mixture into a container and then cover it with plastic wrap or if you have a container with the top on it, just put that on there and let it refrigerate at least two hours or overnight. I let it refrigerate overnight. Make sure you place the freezing bowl in the freezer for 12 to 24 hours before making your ice cream. After letting the mixture refrigerate, Pour it into the ice cream maker. I did add some pink food coloring into the mixture before I added it into the ice cream machine just to give it a bit more color because it was like a pale pink before but now it's like a pink pink now. Now press ice cream, then press start. It's gonna mix the ice cream for 25 minutes. Remember to put the top back on after pouring the mixture but before pressing start. Unlike me, who forgot because I got distracted filming. The cool thing about this ice cream maker is that the mixing arm doesn't move. While the bowl is spinning, the mixing arm stays in place, preventing the mixing arm from getting stuck when the ice cream gets thick. After 25 minutes, your ice cream should become thick. Look at that. That is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I love it. Now that it is finished, Pour your ice cream into a container. Now put your ice cream back in the freezer for about two hours or overnight. And that's about it. You are all finished. Now you can go ahead and enjoy your ice cream. And let me tell you this, the strawberry ice cream was my absolute favorite. Out of all the ice creams I made, this one was my absolute favorite. You can decorate it with your favorite toppings or just eat it plain. Either way, it is so, so good. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more videos like this. Oh, and everything I used in this video will be in the description below. Alright, that's it. Bye! Whoops. Okay, one more time. Kind of. And again. Nope. One more time. Boom! Again! Woo! <laughs> Let me tell you some key things that I almost did until I read the instruction book and that I didn't do. All right, I'm telling you because I almost did it and I almost, uh, well, I don't know what would have happened, but like, I, uh, I, I was about to do something I wasn't supposed to do, which was in the instruction manual. Reading is fundamental. Read this before you do anything. You know, you think you know, but you don't know. And I thought I knew, I didn't know. Okay, so now let's get started. This is the freezer bowl. Do not put the freezer bowl in the freezer while it's wet. Don't do that, very bad. 
do not put it in the dishwasher. That is very bad as well. Don't do that. Now, the other thing. <laughs> this is the mixing arm. Do not put the mixing arm in the freezer. I know, I almost did it too. I thought that maybe if I put it in the freezer, it would help the ice cream feet freeze faster. This is not the case. Don't put it in the freezer. Don't do it. All right. This has been Lessons with Kiana. Now you're good. Now you got it. Now I gotta go.